week in terms of the non-conference strength of schedule is really tough. But you know the 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 deal is I think any time that your team has to do hard things, you know when you put your team in a position where they have to overcome hard things, it's going to help them be a better team. It's going to help them be tougher mentally and physically. And um, you know I think our our schedule is certainly built to do that. Uh, playing on the road, playing in tough environments, playing against some of the best uh, players and coaches in the country in college basketball um, is going to help our team grow and, and learn how to overcome things that are challenging and difficult and, and figure out a way to do that together and stay together. Struggled in November. Uh, they, were, they lost four of their first five games. The initial response as a fan is to freak out. In an analyst chair, a play-by-play -play chair, you go, you know, you have some pieces and you're just really trying to figure out who fits where and how this team's going to operate throughout the season. Gardner-Webb, right back the other direction. Jameson, swatted away by that hit. Once again, this time it's P.J. A few of those games were, those losses were our fault. You know, we had to just come together. We were making, like, mistakes that we know we should have we made and stuff like that. Gardner-Webb's going to fall to 0-2, losing to VCU and Virginia Tech. I think we had a team that's very mature, that understands what this is going to do for us. So I think that was the way we just didn't get discouraged because we understood like the big picture from, from playing these big-time opponents. In transition, look at Slauson. Blocked it. Lost a couple close games. Had some chemistry issues early. In the lead, Lions to the basket with the left hand, and he scores. Played in a... a neutral site event in Asheville. Our first game was Eastern Illinois, and we lost at the buzzer. In that game, it was kind of like everyone was trying to go for themselves, you know, trying to get their numbers, you know, trying to, you know, blow a big time, kind of be that guy. You just felt like um, we weren't in it emotionally. And um, we, we met that night. So we had all the chairs in a circle, and it was, hey, I want to hear from you guys like what you thought was missing. And guys just started to talk and um, share some of the things and, and that, that we were seeing as a coaching staff, you know, they felt as players. What he said to us is like, you know, everyone's gonna have a role and you gotta learn how to embrace your role, get on the same page and that will make, you know, this team better. We started kind of just talking about, hey, like this has to be, uh, has to be different going forward. And we played UNC Wilmington uh, that, that, that day was the next game. And it was one of our best games of the year. And we had just great emotion and great um, uh, camaraderie on the bench and guys cheering for each other. And I think that was kind of a turning point for our year. That kind of laid the groundwork for what was going to be really important for our team is that we were, were a connected group and a group that was about each other. And, um, when we got to December, things kind of flipped for us. It took nine games into the season for the Garden Web men's basketball team to play a game in the friendly confines at the Paul Porter Arena. Jose Perez, a talented freshman, not only hits double figures for his seventh time this season, but a triple-double. 97-60, an impressive win in a home opener Saturday against Savannah State. I think when it just boils down to it, we were just having fun. Things just started clicking as far as as chemistry with the with the players and and just the morale in the locker room and all that stuff was just was just good and it was just flowing. We weren't having fun in the beginning, like in November. We we're having fun, so we we're like, come on, guys, let's just start having fun. Let's start playing together. And then once we started playing together, we saw that playing together was better and it was it was fun. Just to go on a streak like that, you kind of get the feel of how you know everyone's playing, everyone's on the same page. You go with that mindset, like, look, we're not gonna fall back and you know back to early November. We're gonna go out here, we're gonna work as a team, we're gonna communicate, we're gonna get the job done. Three straight wins at home, 95 plus points, and now over 100 of two of the last three. The, the excitement and the energy that's in Paul Porter, you know, really helped us a lot. And then. As we started to you know, win games down the stretch, people started getting the buzz. Hey, these guys might, this might be their year to do something special. Five game win streak, 4 0 at home so far this year. You got a tough test coming up, ACC opponent in Georgia Tech. What do you tell the guys to when you go play a game like that? We just got to get better. Got to get better tomorrow. Got to get better Saturday. Uh, just got to keep getting better. Got to prepare for, for a really good team. You know, a really good team. At a slower pace is what Josh Costa would like to see. 
Johnson lighting it up from three-point range. That is where the Bulldogs thrive. Give a lot of credit to Gardner Webb. Uh, great win for them. They played well. They're a good basketball team. They got going early, and we couldn't get any stops, and that failed us. Gardner Webb regained the league, and we go back and forth here in the early going. You tell them, you warn them, and I knew this was a good team we were playing because of the way they shoot the ball. And uh, I said it's a great test for our defensive fundamentals, and tonight it just our defense wasn't good. 3.4 seconds to add to it. Robin into Laster. Strong catch on Banks, and the soft cut before the buzzer. Georgia Tech. Great win for our school. Good name. We made some shots late. Perez isolated against Alston. That leaves Johnson open. Great court vision to find the three-point shooter. It was kind of, it was kind of like, you know, big for me because I knew, you know, some players on that team from back home they had a lot of New York guys you know, on their roster. Just, you know, to come out with that win it was kind of like, you know, proving everybody back home that, you know, I can. I can do it, I can do whatever. Kind of where those games with VCU and Virginia Tech at that 30 minute mark, they kind of pulled away. We made some shots and pulled away from them. Obviously we're able to beat Georgia Tech on the road, uh, which was a huge win where we were feeling, you know, we, we were really playing really, really well, playing together. He matches his career best with 25 and Gardner Webb has come into an ACC arena and they'll head home to Boiling Springs, North Carolina with a 79 to 69 victory. Dave Friedman, who does radio for Winthrop, actually did play by play for ESPN3 uh, for that game and came down and um, to one of our practices the week before and watched us play or watched us practice for the first time and was a guest. You know, this is a really good basketball team. I think you might have a chance to win, you know, in a couple nights. We've got we've got one more game. You know, we play at Wake Forest uh, uh, here before uh, we open up Big South play. Going in, both coaches, uh, Coach Luther, uh, Coach Kraft, and uh, PH as well, just had a, like a great game plan for us. Um, we just went out there and really just executed it. Uh, we played well, we shot the ball well, and we defended well. He's got three on one, and he gets it to Jamison. Gets a touch here. Well, they looked for him. Effiani. Wow. We rolled into playing uh, Wake Forest. We're like, hey, like, we did this once, like we can do it again. So like, why not go do it again? And we and we did it. I was trying to do whatever it took to win, and that was that was a really big time win. And so that was uh, two ACC wins, man, which was never done in Gardner Webb history. Nine fouls on Wake in the second. The turnaround in the lane, left and short. Unable to hit, Effiani will. We shot I don't know, 40 free throws in that game. And normally, you go on the road in a game that you're getting a check for against an ACC opponent, you're not going to get to the free throw line 40 times. And we kind of dominated that game. Gardner Webb extends their winning streak to eight, and they beat a second ACC opponent in a week and a half. To see our guys come out and play in, in what would be considered a, you know, a, a, an unfriendly environment. Uh, it, it kind of gave you cause for hope. I think we felt like, okay, this could be, this could be a special year. Yeah.